Hello and welcome to Vintage Baby Shower Cookies. Begin by icing a onesie cookie with flood consistency icing in sections, allowing the sections to crust for 30 minutes before moving on. Use the scribe tool to evenly distribute the icing. Allow the cookie to dry for 12 to 8 hours. Finish off by flooding the collar. Now ice the rattle cookie, leaving a section for the bow. I've used an edible marker to draw my bow in. Allow the cookie to dry for eight to 12 hours before continuing. With soft consistency icing and a tipless bag, dimensionally pipe the bow onto the rattle. Recipe supplies tools will be listed in the description box below. Ice a bottle cookie in the same manner you did the rattle, being mindful to leave a space for your bow. Ice the top part of the bottle with ivory flood consistency icing and the tipless bag and allow the cookie to dry for 8 to 12 hours. Now ice the section between the top of the bottle and the bottom of the bottle. Use the scribe tool to evenly distribute the icing. Using food gel paste and a damp brush, begin painting the roses into the center part of the onesie and on the sleeves.
paint a few leaves on each of the roses. With a zero nozzle and soft consistency icing, pipe a scallop border on the collar. Now using stiff consistency icing, pipe some ruffles onto the outside of the onesie. For the rattle, paint a rose in the center of the top portion using an angle shader and food gel paste. Paint two buds on either side of the rose, and then paint in a few leaves. To add movement and depth to the bow, paint it with the corresponding purple color. Thank you. 
Using a tipless bag and soft consistency icing, add a few decorative beads. To finish off the baby bottle, use soft consistency icing and a nozzle one to pipe in the measuring lines. Allow the lines to dry for about 30 minutes and then paint the bow to add movement and depth. Thank you everyone for watching.